Hey guys, it's Adam here with yet another video tutorial for Sony Vegas Pro 10. This one here comes to me from a YouTuber named Daddy Tech, which is the guy you see up here smoking a cigarette. I figured he requested the video. I just so happen to have footage with him uh, from last week's uh, Google Hangout. So I figured I would go ahead and uh, put him in the video, seeing how it's for him. Basically, what he's looking to get done is he started using Sony Vegas and he's not sure how to have text overlay. What I mean by that is where you have your video and you have your text show up underneath or wherever you want on the screen. It's pretty easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do that now. First thing, find out where you want your text. So we only have this video clip to play with. Next, you need to go up to Media Generators. Give it a click. And then it's going to produce all your media generators. Everything from checkerboard, to gradients, to credit rule, to noise, prototype, titler, all that junk. Okay, what we want is text. Here is all the onboard generic text patterns. I built the time one and the pop-up text, but for what he wants to do, default text is all he needs. So let's say on the timeline right here, we want to have a text thing appear down here. All you do is click up here and drag it down to the timeline. Make sure you're dragging above the video frame and release. Now you can see the text is already overlaying his face and it says sample text just like the example here. So you just go ahead and highlight this in the hit delete to get rid of it or just start typing. And we can do an old one pug life reference of R Ya Chu Chin. Okay, that font's kind of big, so just like any word processor or whatnot, you have your total control here over the font, the size. If you want to bold it, italicize it, uh, left align, center align, right align, whatever you want to do. So we'll just bring this down to a 60 font, and there she be, Are Ya Chu Chin. And you go over here to placement. Now, this shows you where you're going to place it on the screen. So as you drag it, you can see it dragging down on, on the video preview pane, or you can drag it up. And basically, these red lines are your safety margins. If you keep the text within those red lines, they will be visible on the video. So we'll just bring this right down here to Are You Chuchin? Perfect. But it's still kind of hard to see, right? Well, we'll get into that in a bit. Now, properties. This is where you change your text color, so let's say you want to make the color red, or you can just move it around until you find the color that you're happy with. So we'll go with a bright orange. And if you mess with the background color, this is what it does. It'll actually black out the video, so you want to keep that transparent. Now, down here you have your tracking and your scaling. What that does is tracking will actually stretch out the text, putting more space in between each character. We'll bring that back down to one and scaling is the same thing but it uh, well scaling basically makes the text bigger or you can make it smaller so you can actually use this here to make an animation I'll show that in another video and leading doesn't seem to do anything but um, I've never played with that but that's just basically the generics of the properties so you're tracking and you're scaling and when you go into effects this is where you can have an, out, an outline appear. So if you want to put an outline around your text, in situations like this, you'd want to go with a dark outline. So you want it to be a black outline. You see how it kind of pops out while it's over them? And what I normally do is drop the feather so it makes it a solid bar and turn up the width to really make it stand out. And if you want to put a shadow on it, you can turn the shadow on and you can move the offset around to make it look like it's really popping out of the page mess with the feathering too. Basically you can set this any way you wish. Once all is said and done, if you want to save your preset so that you can always just click on here and choose it again, you just type in a name up here and hit save and what will happen is it'll show up in this menu so you can always drag that back down to the timeline. And that's pretty much how you do a text overlay. So we'll just cut it right there and through the timeline. Ah, here we'll just play the video. Hi. Who's this guy? 
Friggin daddy tech smoking cigarettes. So there you go. Um, something else if you wanted to cross fade it in. The uh, little blue bars up here, those are your faders. So all you do is just click it, drag it over, click it, drag it over, and there's your fade effect. Guy, who's this guy? Friggin' dead. Just like that. So it's pretty easy to do your text overlay, and you can pretty much do it for any scenario, whatever you want to do. If you want to pop up a text to instruct people of mishaps in the video, you know, post production, you always come across some crazy stuff. By all means, go ahead, and uh, hopefully, you found this video informative and uh, it helps you uh, with your future editing. Well, until next time, guys, take care.